This tutorial talks about the use of nonlinear shell elements within Elastina. This is part of the advanced course which is given at elastina-online.com. This is chapter four. So uh, shell elements basically within Elastina uh, are as follows. So if we go to um, star section shell we can see that obviously there is the star section shell EFG thermal and XFEM um, you have the thermal shell for uh, thermal and thermal structure analysis and then element free Galerkin method or meshless method and then you have the XFM method um, the normal shell formulation uh, there are linear and nonlinear shells. I'm going to talk about the nonlinear shells. Uh, so the number goes from 1 to uh, 99, and then you have the user defined shells. Uh, some of these shells are uh, two dimensional shells. Uh, actually, they are two dimensional element, but we use star element shell. And then uh, some of them are three dimensional for different formulation and linear shells and the nonlinear shells so within LS Dyna the nonlinear shells are um, uh, as follows so there is the, the name of the shell and then there is the type of the shell and here uh, in this chapter we talk about the main and most important elements for crash simulations uh, in this chapter also we present formulation of the most important shell elements and we classify shell elements within LS Dyna and we talk about the shortcoming of the different shell element formulation and the importance of the different formulation impact and crash simulations so uh, if you see here uh, you have the name and then the type and then the interpolation order and then the stress and the CPU time comparison between the two so in here we look at the stress um, we have either yaman or corotational so what does that mean you have a, a corotational shell and then you have a shell that uses the yaman rate uh, for the uh, stress rate so in general when we have a shell which is under rigid body rotation or large rotation the coordinate axis can change so sigma x becomes sigma y if there is a 90, degree rota 90 degrees rotation and as a result under rigid body rotation you can have a rate of stress which is not equal to zero and that's not acceptable so to deal with this problem there, is, there are two methods one is the corrotational which is basically embedding a coordinate system that rotates with the element so sigma x x and the rigid body rotation within the local system still is sigma xx and the rate of stress will be zero the armor rate is another method which is much more expensive method to correct for the uh, stress rate and make the uh, stress rate tensor objective meaning under rigid body rotation you get back the same uh, tensor so the corrotational formulation the way it works is basically we uh, so let's say you have a, a planar uh, shell so we take for example along one and two of the element we take a unit vector e1 and then we do cross product of the two diagonals we define uh, uh, another uh, normal to the shell a unit vector and then we do cross product of the two unit vector to get the third unit vector and this way we define uh, the normals uh, or rather we define the coordinate system that is embedded within the shell and that's why it's called corrotational uh, formulation so that's the difference between the two corrotational formulation normally it's a good um, way of doing it except when you have a non-planar shell in which uh, there is a warpage in the shell and the coordinate system defined this way will create a problem under rigid body rotation uh, so that's basically the difference between the two so the name of the shells uh, starting with the helio type 1 is that uh, the order of the interpolations bilinear is four noded and one point integration meaning there is only 
one point integration within the plane so that's reduced integration uh, then you have the default shell element which is Belisco Tsai Lin uh, again it's bilinear four nodded and also uh, one point integration that's one point within the plane and it uses a co-rotational uh, formulation while the hue leo element type 1 uses a yammer rate so we can see um, this is more expensive than than this one here uh, then you have uh, two triangular uh, shell elements one is is uh, do belichko uh, and um, uh, which is type 3 and then the other one is kennedy and uh, belichko which is type 4 uh, the difference between them is type 3 it uses a, a kind of a um, higher order interpolation similar to a beam it's historical from Dyna 3d um, however the preferred uh, triangular uh, shell element is the Belichko uh, Kennedy type 4 element and then you have membrane element type 5 um, and uh, membrane element type 9 the difference between five and nine uh, one is reduced integration the other one is fully integrated so type nine is four integration point uh, within the plane while type five is only one integration point within the plane so a membrane element is an element that does not have rotational degrees of freedom only translational degrees of freedom so it's good for balloon type of structures airbag balloons parachutes stuff like this that doesn't have uh, significant uh, bending resistance and then you have um, shell element type 6 which is um, uh, bilinear four nodded and then four integration point within the plane this is the most expensive element within Alastan is about 20 times more expensive than the default shell element and then type 7 which is the fast selective reduced integration helio element uh, that's uh, co-rotational formulation so that's the same as one except instead of yama rate it uses co-rotational SRI is selective reduced integration it means that for uh, the transfer shear we still use one point integration within the plane however for other stress components we use um, the four integration point within the plane type 8 uh, it's an element which is does not have any application really um, and it doesn't have a good predictability uh, anyway uh, so that's not recommended um, shell element type 2 has a problem and that is under warping situation the element fails the twist beam problem so that was corrected by element type 10 which is Belichko Wang Chang, so they added a warping stiffness to take care of warping situations. Then type 11 is um, is a fast helio, which is co-rotational formulation and uses one point integration on the plane. And the recommended shell element is uh, type 16, which is a fully integrate integrated element based on bad Dvorkian type of uh, formulation that's a four integration within the plane it does not uh, it does does not um, need any uh, hourglassing um, however for warping hourglass uh, stiffness you need to add hourglass type 8 It's not really an hourglass control however it's on the star control hourglass so you need to add hourglass type 8 to uh, create a warping stiffness for this type 16.